Sup guys, Heeking here, bringing you some gaming news regarding Metal Gear Solid. Holy crap, it's been it's been a, a terrible good few years when it comes to Metal Gear Solid, man. I mean, there, these there've been rumors, lots of rumors, and it's getting annoying. Remember to like and subscribe, and uh, let's get into this. Uh, recently. Recently, there was news that uh, apparently a Metal Gear Solid remake is in the works, and now a bunch of news has come in. We didn't get anything at uh, Tokyo Game Show, sadly. In fact, there was there was nothing there really to show, and I don't think nothing big even came of that, which is very disappointing. But apparently, apparently, a new information has come out. Which, would, to be honest, we've been hearing this for quite a while now, and it is getting very repetitive and boring now at this point. But apparently. Um, uh, Konami is set to revive Metal Gear, Castlevania, and Silent Hill. Like, where have I heard this before? But um, let, let's read these very quickly, okay? Uh, from the from the V, and I believe the source is from VGC. Um, is this Video Games Chronicle? I believe they're called. But yeah, let's let's read this. Let's just read the pointers. So, a new Castlevania is in development at Konami, reimagining of the series. I loved Lords of Shadow One. That was one of my favorite games I played on the PS3. Great bloody game. Uh, I never played the original Castlevanias, so I wasn't really aware of what uh, I knew certain story elements, of course. But I really loved that first game. Mirrors of Fate was okay. I thought again the story was fine. That was really good how they did that. How they took like a uh, like two characters and they combined them to one to sort of like do it like that. Like having Alucard be like a, a Belmont. I thought that was really cool. Uh, having a uh, uh, Dracula be a Belmont. I thought it was really cool. And obviously the sequel had its had its moments, but overall the sequel was very 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 disappointing uh, when you compare it to the first game. The first game was like honestly was a masterpiece in my opinion, and it's it's such a shame that it didn't get a lot of love. That it should have gotten because I thought it was really well done, uh, from puzzles to just the adventure and the boss fights and the music. Like it was just really, really well done. But yeah, apparently a reimagining of the series. I really need to see the anime show. I heard that's really, really good. And I really want to sit down and watch that. Um, I keep hearing uh, things like uh, maybe the next Castlevania games will be uh, sort of like uh, Dark Souls or Bloodborne, which I think would be freaking awesome if they did it like that. I wouldn't mind that. And the next one is a new Metal Gear project in early development at an external Chinese studio. The project is based on Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. So apparently the remake that's actually happened in is Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, on one hand, I get it. It's it's the most, it, for, for the most part, it's either between Metal Gear Solid 1 and Metal Gear Solid 3 when it comes to what is the most popular Metal Gear Solid game. And yeah, I guess it makes sense they would choose that one maybe, but just because they're... Uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, uh, I think a Metal Gear One remake would work, would do better. Honestly, I, I would prefer a Metal Gear, Metal Gear Two Solid Snake remake more. But me remaking Metal Gear Solid Three just seems kind of redundant, redundant because, like, what can you honestly improve? I mean, I can, I can probably do a video and explain what they could improve. But it isn't a lot, in my opinion, because um, I think the game still plays fine as it is. Like, you, you could remaster it. And it it'd be fine. I don't see the need for a remake for that specifically. So it's a, it's a bit weird that the Apparently that, that's going to be the one to be remade, but uh, maybe because it's the one that starts off chronologically. Because te technically speaking, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater would be the first game in the series chronologically. So maybe maybe they're doing a remake of that, and then they're going to do a remake of the other games, perhaps in a chronological order, perhaps. Maybe I don't know. That would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Because uh, what, what would the next logical one be to remake? I mean, would you want to remake Portable Ops and uh, Peace? Peace Walker because I think again I think the games play fine as it is really we need we need a re we need a remake more for for the original two Metal Gear games and Metal Gear Solid One we don't need a remake for the other ones it's weird that they're doing this but okay whatever uh, a Chinese studio apparently is doing it as well an external Chinese studio I don't know how to feel about that because apparently they do a lot of censorship so I can I can see them doing a lot of censorship for for the game if they're doing that uh, to be honest I don't know what exactly they would censor maybe a lot of the LGBTQ moments, maybe all the crotch grabbing, perhaps uh, all the boob uh, exposed boob breast shots. I don't know, chest shots. I don't know. Maybe they'll do that. I don't know. I hope not. But censorship, guys, censorship. Uh, Konami intends to release remasters of all Metal Gear games on modern consoles. Um, yeah, maybe. I guess I wouldn't mind that. I'd love it. I'd love it even more if apparently we would get a remaster of Metal Gear Rising. I would really love to replay that game again properly. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind that. A uh, remaster maybe of Portable Ops as well. Maybe, please. Like, it is part of the story, part of the canon, sort of. Like, include it for Christ's sake. Uh, 
Old info, multiple Sinai Hills projects in development at external studios, one uh, prominent Japanese studio. So uh, appar apparently, appar apparently uh, there's a lot of rumors saying that Kajami, uh, Kojima Productions is going to be doing a Sinai Hill game. And then another one is being made by another studio. So apparently, there's like two Silent Hill games coming out. I don't know what to believe. I know, I know. I think Dark Scholar himself said that there's a Silent Hill game in development for a while now. So I do think there is, there is something there. Maybe Abandoned is a Silent Hill game, but we've not. I don't know. That studio keeps tiptoeing around with her bull crab and hyping themselves up, and we were not really getting anything from them. So I doubt that that's true. Or maybe they are pulling a Kojima, and, and that is going to end up being Silent Hill. I don't know. We don't know nothing about that. Um, Kojima doing a Silent Hill game. I'd like for it to be true, but I'm, again, I'm not. I don't think it is. Um, apparently, there's updates for this. Uh, 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 Virtuous is making the MGS3 remake. Uh, I don't know who Virtuous is. I don't know what kind of studio they are. Um, let's see. Uh, Virtuous Game Studio. Uh, Virtuous is a video game development company headquartered in Singapore, with studios across Asia, Europe, and North America. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, let's see what games they've done. Do they do ports? Uh, uh, Virtues mainly develops games and 3D art for consoles, PC, and mobile games. Working as a support and outsourcing studio for other companies. So let's see. They've done, they've done XCOM 2 Collection, Bioshock the Collection, The Outer World, Spiral Re Reignited Trilogy, Assassin's Creed Liberation Remaster, uh, Dark Souls Remastered, Uncharted: A Thieves End. Is that? I'm assuming that's the remaster. I'm, I'm assuming these guys have just been doing remasters, maybe or ports. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, Gravity 2 Rush, Watch Dogs 2, uh, Tomb Raider, The NCO Collection, Zodiac Age, Batman Return 2. They, they do the Return to Arkham. Uh, I still haven't played that, by the way, Return to Arkham, but apparently the graphics for that were not very good uh, when compared to the original games, and it really shows, and it's like, ooh, uh, a lot of details missing from that, so... Maybe they maybe they aren't a good studio to, to New Year's, I don't know, maybe they've improved over the years, and now they can do a better job, but, uh, yeah... Uh, yeah, it seems they just mainly do like ports or remasters. Um, yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. Um, and update two, Eurogamer collaborates that an MGS3 remake has been greenlit. So you've got Eurogamer collaborating that, that, that it's legit, that an MGS3 remake is in fact happening. And then uh, update three, uh, Germans 2 adds that Kojima is developing Silent Hill with the funding of Sony Interactive Entertainment. Okay, uh, I don't know how legit these these articles or sources are. I'm not going to go for reading them. I'm just explaining and uh, reading what I'm reading here. Update four. I remember this post from Norman Reedus dancing with the uh, Silent Hill Free Rabbit. So apparently there's an Instagram. I don't have an Instagram, so that's not going to open for me if I look at it. Additionally, this gives credibility to Mila A as a reliable PlayStation leaker for info on MGS not being done by Blue Point. Source below. So yeah, let's continue on with this. So apparently there's a leaker called Mila A. Who says that uh, Blue Point is not the one, in fact, doing a remake for Metal Gear? Now, a lot of us assumed that Blue Point were doing a remake for, for the original Metal Gear Solid. Apparently, a lot of hints in the Dark Souls remastered, or was it? No, no, it was Demon Souls remake. You know, you could hear Metal Gear Rex screaming from behind a door or something. There was a lot of Twitter, there was a lot of Twitter hints, but apparently, that is not the case. Um, which is a bloody shame, if true. Um, Apparently, Amelia A winked at the Blue Point plus Bloodborne rumor from Colin Moriarty. So apparently, Blue Point is remaking Bloodborne, which makes no sense to me. Like, why would you remake a game that only just came out a few years ago and doesn't really need a remake? Like, why? They looked at Demon Souls and now they're like, let's remake uh, Bloodborne because why? Uh, I'm hoping this is, I'm hoping this is BS. But uh, yeah, I'm, um, um, yeah, I'm hoping it is BS. So uh, uh, here's another here's another stuff about the existing IPs. Shrapshaw Nick has stated I don't I don't even know who this is. I think this might be another leaker. Has stated that Kojima's Xbox game is an existing IP, and as far as he knows, Kojima isn't making Silent Hill. Also, Metal Gear Solid remake is real, but not from Blue Point. So a lot of a lot of different things being said. So this this one guy is saying that a Metal Gear Solid remake is happening, but it's not Blue Point. Amelia is saying Blue Point's not doing it. So I think we can could. We can cut that off. That Blue Point is, in fact, not making a Metal Gear Solid remake. But this guy's saying Metal Gear Solid remake. Now, obviously, he probably doesn't know that it's technically Metal Gear Solid 3 because you've got one or two or three other sources saying Metal Gear Solid 3 is the one that's happening. So maybe that is, in fact, true. Uh, and that is the studio that's doing it, and obviously not Blue Point. Uh, but he's also saying that Kojima is not making a Silent Hill game, but the VG, the VG, 
the BGC is saying that it is, that he is making it, um, but he's saying he's not, but he's making something for Xbox that is an existing IP. Uh, let's see, as stated in the title, Kojima isn't making a new IP with Xbox and is working on something that has existed before and not Splinter Cell, unfortunately. Just like Andy, he doesn't think Kojima is making Silent Hill. Nick has had known about the Metal Gear remake for about a year and Bluepoint isn't making it. Okay, so... He doesn't think it's Silent, he doesn't think it's Silent Hill. It could be Silent Hill that Kojima is doing for, for Xbox, which is a bit weird. They're gonna make that exclusive? That would be that would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Like an exclusive Silent Hill game for Xbox only. Hmm. Uh that I don't see happening. I mean, what could be the other existing IP that Kojima would do for for Xbox? Uh I can't think of one. I can't think of it's obviously not Halo. <laughs> uh Crackdown? No, I don't think so. Um I can't think of an existing IP for Xbox that, that would be so big enough that Kojima would be like, yeah, I'm going to do this. Um, no, I just don't see it. Millier says the Kojima and Sony Silent Hill rumors are false. So now you've got Millier, who's, who's apparently a credible leaker, saying that the Silent Hill Sony Kojima production rumors are not happening. Uh, uh, some websites, so apparently a random user asked her this. Some websites are saying a new Silent Hill game is being developed by Kojima and Sony. Is that true? And she responded with no. And she is apparently credible, so no. So, a Metal Gear Solid 3 remake apparently is happening by Virtues. Uh, Blue Point is not making is not remaking Metal Gear Solid. Apparently, the it's been hinted that they're doing Bloodborne. Um, Kojima is not working with Sony to do a Silent Hill game, but they are working with Microsoft to do an existing IP apparently. But Silent Hill games are coming. There are at least two that are rumored to be coming, and a reimagination of Castlevania. So yeah, a, a lot of decent news here. But nothing confirmed, and that's the biggest problem here. Nothing is confirmed, and it's one of those cases of just things being said, going into one ear and coming out the other. We don't know what's true, and it is annoying at this point. Um, because we've been hearing these kind of rumours for at least a good two to three years, and now I think... And it's, it's frustrating. It really is frustrating. Like, if, if there is truth to it, I want to just confirm it. Confirm it, put us, up, put, uh, put us out of our miseries, and let us just build hype for these, if it is in fact true. Um, the, the question comes, of course, the question comes to when this will be revealed. I, I'm assuming close to release. Whenever these games, if they are being planned, if they are happening, they will be revealed close to release. So we're not going to hear about this for a good few years. That's the thing. Unless these have been in development for a year or two, in which case we should be hearing something maybe by next year. But if not, it's going to be a while, I think. We're going to be waiting a long while. And really, that's it. That's really all there is to it. Like, uh, yeah. What more can be said? That's really all they can do, right? Um, which is a bloody shame. But yeah, Bloodborne remake. I just... I don't see the point. Why? Why? Why do one? Anyway guys, that's my thoughts on this, uh, remember to like and subscribe, and yeah guys, as always, uh, yeah, I shall see you when I shall see you, take care.